people are always posting online, what is this bird as far as what is the sex of this bird? Is this a pullet or is this a cockerel? Actually, they say, is this a rooster or a hen? And if it's young enough, it's neither. It's a pullet or a cockerel. So, and in a lot of times people go to the store and they'll buy a bird not knowing that you can most times be able to tell looking at what's in that bin. So I decided I'd make a video to kind of help people to, to show you how to sex a chick or to be able to tell the difference between a cockerel and a pullet most times um, when they're young. Now this will help when they're about a week old. So if this is a bird that has just come in from the hatchery, just been delivered to the, to let's say the store, and this may not work. Um, unless they're gonna let you pick up these birds. A lot of times they're not letting you do that. So um, this is gonna work for birds that maybe are left over. Uh, or if you've got your birds at home and you go, hmm, what did I get? Uh, this might help you to be able to you know, figure it out. It's kind of fun if, um, you know, you got your birds and go, okay, they're a week old. I'm going to, I think this is what it is based on, you know, watching this video and see if it, if it pans out and works out. Given time, the more you do this, the better you'll get at being able to tell, do you have a pullet or a cockerel? This also helps a lot of people um, that live in, let's say the city and you can't have, you're not allowed to have a rooster or cockerel in the city. This helps you to pick those birds out beforehand and it also helps you to become more educated if you go to let's say an auction and you're buying birds there to be able to pick those out. Now this is definitely for birds that are going to be under than under a month old. This is not for older birds. Um, most of the time if birds are over four months old it should be easy, really easy, to tell that difference of what's a cockerel and what's a hen. Um, if you need help to tell what a cockerel looks like by that age, um, let me know. I can make another video on how to tell the difference of what a cockerel should look like uh, past four months of age. There are certain things to look for as far as color goes and feathers um, that you need to be looking for. But for the most part, um, this is the younger stuff that you need to be looking for. And it, again, I'm just putting this disclaimer out there. This does not apply to every single breed. Okay. And this does not necessarily apply to every single color. Some breed colors do not fit into some of this. Anyways. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. I do have this for, um, I start out with the birds that were in the incubator about to hatch. Um, I did have to kind of do a little bit of editing on some of it. Um, I tend to ramble, if you haven't noticed. Um, I start out with chicks that hatched at um, a day old, and those same birds hatched, or the same birds that we hatched when they were a week old, and then I had those then sold, and I've got some birds that we had at a month old, so they're not the same ones that had originally hatched. They're a different grouping of birds. So, um, but I've got, so we've got, a day or two old, a week old, and I have a month old. And then I have an old video that I made last year on how to sex turkeys. So for the, and turkeys can be sexed, but it has to be done when they're about a week old, um, a week to a month old. So um, they're, they're really easy to sex too. A lot of people think you can't sex turkeys, but you can. And it's, uh, this is a, a trick that was taught to me and it has, it, it's been a no fail. Uh, technique. So um, I hope you enjoy this. Um, uh, the video kind of jumps from breed to breed to breed. I did a bunch of different breeds, uh, as many as I could that I have here. So hopefully it helps out. Some of these birds are frizzled. I hope y'all enjoy. I love frizzled birds. Hope you enjoy those. Uh, so um, other than that, um, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message. Visit our uh, farm uh, page, Rebels Flying Feathers Poultry. And uh, hope you see you next time. Hey guys, this week we have a batch of chicks hatching. So I'm going to do a little bit of showing how I sex these chicks through different stages of their uh, life. 
Uh, some are going to be at a week old, a month old, things like that. But I thought I'd show you. Uh, today is considered hatch day. As you can see, we still have a lot of eggs in here. Um, I know this isn't a full incubator. I've got several of them going. We've got one there, one there, and I've got one down there. That one's set for another week. So, um, and then I've got eggs ready to go as soon as this batch is done. So, um, but in here I've got one chick ready to go. Okay, so these are some chicks that are about two days old. These are going to be my blue laced group. These are out of blue laced silver or blue laced gold hens and a blue laced red cock. Now this produces at with the blue lace silver produces a sex link chick. What that and I'll show you the uh, a graph that demonstrates this. What this tells me is any chick that is out of this breeding that is silver is a cockerel. Now what I use on my chicks are bands like this. They're little rubber bands. These are specially designed for chicks. These are color coded, or I use them as color coded. They come in uh, different colors and uh, I put them on their legs. Now I usually mark mine as cockerels have a left band and pullets have a right band. Now based on just that sex link ability, I can tell you right now, one of these in this group is a cockerel and it's this one right here. You can see this one is going to be silver. So just right off the bat, I know this one is definitely, I don't have to do anything with this one. This one's a sex link chick. This one is a cockerel. So this one gets a band on its left leg. And these go on just like that. I try and get them straight. They don't straighten out like that. And they'll stay on till they are about a month old and then I will switch them out to zip ties. So the rest of these are going to be somewhat debatable. Some of these, this one here has a lot of silver to it, but it's also got this gold up here in its head. Um, it might feather out silver. I'll have to wait on this one. This tells me that silver um, more than likely this one is a cockerel but there's another way to check them uh, you can check on the length of their wings so what you do is you spread their wing out and you're gonna look I don't know if you'll be able to see it okay so judging by this wing See, there's long feathers here and short feathers. I don't know if y'all can see them. The little short ones right here. So short, long. Short ones, little, right there. That says this is a pullet. So based on that, this one will get a band on the right leg. Normally, I don't mark my birds this early on, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we'll go through the rest of this batch and see what else we can find just based on this wing. This is called um, wing sexing, doing it this way. So pull that wing out. Okay, so this one does not have does not have that secondary set. I don't know if y'all can, hopefully y'all can see that. I did this with the paper towel so that I'm hoping you can see this. But you see there's only one set. So that tells me this one is a little cockerel. So he's gonna get, some of these bands are several years old. This company quit making the blue ones, the blue and yellow, at least as a multi-pack. Some of mine are really big bands, so I'm afraid they're going to fall off. All right, 
so that's three of them. There's ten of them in here. All right, let's see this one. This one. Hmm, this one's a little debatable. Much harder on this one. I think I see two sets. I'm gonna say that this is a pullet. I'm gonna say pullet. <laughs> They're picking at their little bands. They say what is on my feet. Ooh, this one's gonna be really nice. This dark red. This is what you really want is that dark red, but this one will probably be black, a black laced red. Of course, this one will be a little cockerel. Usually, really good ones end up being cockerels, unfortunately. They're really good looking ones. They're picking at each other. I have about 30 birds to do, so I'm not going to go through everybody. That one's been done. That one's been done. So, and we'll go through, when these guys are a week old, we will go and check them again. And based on, we'll see how well this held up, this theory on sexing them this way. We will see if this wing sexing held up to my other, the other way I wing sex. This I would say is a pullet. And I will show you how... That one works. That one, the way I do it at a week old, is based on their how long their uh, their growth, their feather growth. Pullets tend to grow their wings or their feathers faster than cockerels, so um, they will get their wings faster. Um, this guy doesn't even have any wings yet, so that tells me this is probably a cockerel. Just based on that theory, I was just saying that cockerels don't grow. Uh, they don't feather as quickly. So I will keep going through this batch, and I will go through the rest of the birds that I have. Like I said, this is just my blue laced batch. I still have some Easter eggers to go through. So, um, and I uh, have a broma in here as well. So, uh, but that's those. So, uh, again, we'll see you in a week and see how these pan out and how correct they are. Okay, so now I have my Easter Eggers. Now my Easter Eggers are out of or by a barred cockerel. It's a leg bar. Leg bars have a barring gene. Now one of my hens, one of my Easter Egger hens is also barred which means that the chicks can be barred. And a lot of times when you use a barred breed, the chicks regardless are gonna be barred. But my point here is, is when you have barred a barred parent and the chicks are barred, or when, when chicks are barred that are born, they, are, uh, they will have a dot on their head, a, a, a white dot. And you can see on these chicks that, that a lot of them are black and they have just a tiny bit of a, a white dot on their head. One has a very big white dot on its head. Now, in breeds like barred rocks, things like that, usually the way you can sex them is the larger the dot, the bigger that spot on their head, that is gonna be the male. So you, the smaller dot is your female or your pullet, and the larger dot is your cockerel. So, based on that theory, then this one here would be a cockerel. Now, if we do our wing testing here, that proves to be true. So, and then on these other ones, and again, my, uh, the way I have mine uh, set up, with the male being my barred breed, my birds are not, these are not sex linked chicks, so it does not always work out. Okay, so this here is our one week old Easter Egger group. Now, 
this is my favorite age or what I find the easiest age to uh, wing sex. The way I wing sex them, now this is the group that we already wing sexed at um, when they were a day or two old. Now, most of these I marked already based on what I showed you before with the, with the single or double wing. Now, what I do now, so this one, I marked all the girls with a band on their right leg. And the boys, let's see if I marked one of these with the boy. This one I said was an automatic boy based on the dot on the head, and I put the band on the left. Uh, let's see, do I have another one? This one is missing its band. Um, and everybody else, it looks like, did I put, I put bands on the right on everybody else. Now, looking at everybody, the way I do this is when I look at a bird, I look at how long the wings are on a bird. This bird here, its wings go almost all the way to the back of its body and it's got a little bit of a tail coming in. If I, based on this one, this is a pullet, not a little cockerel. So this one I would have marked as a pullet. So its little band needs to move. The rest of these I had marked as pullets as well. Again, wings go all the way down to the body. They are the full length of the body, little bit of tail feathers coming in, pullet. And when this one was born, I marked it also as a pullet based on its double wings. This whole group is all pullets except for this one that was missing its band. I wish I had known which one this one was. According to my list, I had two that I had marked as a cockerel. So this one, according to in the beginning, was marked as a cockerel. And if you look, you can see his wings only come to here. He has no little tail, no tail at all. It's still just fluff. And his wings do not go the full length of his body. I know these are a little bit harder to see because they're black, but he's got just no wings yet. They're just little bitty, little, just little feathers. So this is a little boy. This group in here is a group of gold laced and silver laced Wyandots. Again, every one of these I had marked as a pullet when they first hatched and based on wing length. Again, length of the body, a little bit of, their tails are just now coming in, but it's the, the wing. The wing is the length of the body. That tells me this is a pullet. Again, every one of these was marked as a pullet and looking at all of them, I stand by that they are all still pullets. So it looks like so far that double wing versus the single wing at the day old is holding true. This is my batch of blue laced wine dots. Now on this one, according to genetics, these should be a sex link breed for the most part. So, silvers, like this one, should be a cockerel. Should be. So it's marked as a cockerel. I don't remember, I think I marked this one as a cockerel anyways, uh, based on its coloring. According to wings, they're still short and we have no tail. So I would have to stick with that one. This whole batch looks like they are almost all cockerels. Um, ah, here's a pullet right here. This one is a pullet. Wish they weren't all black. It would make this easier to see. But you can see we have a little bit of a tail coming in. Feathers are the length of the body. Or the wings are the length of the body. Uh, some of these, again, this doesn't work for every breed and it doesn't work for every single instance. So some of these, this one could be, hold on. So this one was marked again as a chick. It had the double wing. I marked it as a pullet. Sometimes people will say that when you do the wings like this and they are longer out like this 
and shorter up here that this is a pullet. Let me see if I can make that. There you go. So when they're like this, this means pullet. So this one still has the potential to be a pullet. So we will, we will leave this one as a possible pullet. It may just be a slower growing pullet. Now let's go back to our silver. Sorry, the base of these are dirty. So if we pull him back out, see this one has this double wing as well. So I don't know if that holds true. Now, is the genetics theory wrong of red or gold over silver, that all silver chicks are male? Is that incorrect? Or is the wing theory incorrect? I guess we will, may never know. And this one we marked as a pullet. The wing, this wing looks to be a little more uniform. We're just going to leave our wing out. Let's see. This is one, I would say this is definitely a cockerel. So if I had to do a comparison with all of these, I could almost say that they were mostly pullets. This is one I would say is definitely a cockerel. Let's see, did I mark this one as a cockerel? I did. This one I marked as a cockerel at hatch. Why do I say this is a cockerel? Because right now, this bird has no feathers, no wings. See, we have no wings whatsoever. This one's gonna be a beautiful blue lace though, blue lace gold. See, all that blue is coming in already. Anyway, so, if I was to base comparison this group based on this one having no feathers, that I so I know this is a cockerel. This is a definite cockerel. These others are potential pullets. I know this is a pullet. I know this is a cockerel. So we have the different wings. Then these others are potential pullets with the wings. Some of these are, I can definitely tell. This one, again, we have no wings, no wing growth. I don't know if y'all can even see that. So no wings, barely any wings, and again, marked as cockerel at hatch. So I would probably say this is a cockerel. So those that are have those wings that, um, pop out like that one I have is a cockerel and we have almost no wings that's probably a cockerel so I don't know this may be very well a pullet it's just a slower growing pullet so maybe what that one is those that are like that that are these are ones that I try not to sell I'll wait until they're closer to a month old and we'll see at that point. Maybe they're, maybe they're just slower. Um, you can, you know, if you are in the process of selling birds, these would be ones that I would let a customer know that that's up in the air, that's an iffy, I don't know. It's a potential pullet. Um, you know, if you'd guarantee that you're selling pullets, that might be one that you would um, say yes you can bring that one back and you know because you're guaranteeing I don't know that's up to you and how you run your business these two chicks here are Brahmas one of these is probably a full-on dark Brahma and this is probably one of my gold partridge Brahmas I've been trying to figure out how to tell them apart at hatch. A lot of times it's really hard to tell them apart. Um, the uh, cockbird that I use is actually a, what's called golden. He looks like a dark Brahma, but he has a, he looks dirty, but that's the gold in him. The mothers are uh, gold partridge, so they look, they're a golden color. Anyway, uh, as far as sexing these birds, Brahmas are a little bit harder to sex. When they were just hatched, they had no wing feathers whatsoever. And they still, at this point, really don't have much of a wing feather. If I was to base it off of wing growth, um, I would say this is a pullet 
and this one is a cockerel because you can see we still have no wings as on this one. Uh, Brahmas are an extremely slow growing breed so um, they take a while to grow. They are a dimorphic breed so as they feather in you can uh, start to identify males from females. So once they reach about a month to two months old it's a lot easier to sex them. They become they're different colors that's what dimorphic means the males and females are are different colors and I'll show you a picture of that. So but this one should be more of a golden color and this one will be more of a black and white. This here is a group of birds that I purchased. These are duclays. These should be Melfleur duclays. I've had a bunch of people request these from me, so I thought I would attempt to breed them again. But I did attempt to pick out all pullets, and it looks like that is what I did, unfortunately. I do not have a cockbird to breed to these. So I will end up probably being in the market uh, to be looking for one or just enjoy these little birds because these are bantams. They're cute, they're fun, and everybody just loves them. But um, maybe I'll surprise myself and one of these will turn out to be a little cock bird as well. But as you can see, all of them have those feathers. Uh, this, they're a lot easier to see on these as to what they look like when I tell you uh, wings that are body length. The, the bodies are the length of the, or the feathers are the length of the body and we have little tail feathers that come in. And these are again about a week old. Again, another breed that I ended up picking up. I actually have four of this breed. These are OEGBs or Old English Game Bantams. These I specifically picked out ones that had the wings the length of the body uh, so that because I was hoping for pullets I have four cockerel cockerels yes they're still young cockerels running around the yard so I am honestly hoping these are all pullets um, it looks like I don't know this one still this one should be this one might be a black breasted red it's a little bit lighter than the others um, and then I'm hoping that at least these two, they look a little bit darker, uh, should be silver duckwing, or at least this one. It's got that good eyeliner look to it. But these little guys, these are so small, they're so cute. Um, if you've never had an Old English game bantam, they're just, they're, they're just fun. They're cute. They're, they're not really good for, you know, necessarily, you know, egg laying as far as any of that goes, but they're they're just great little pets, honestly. Um, and this is the way even the, our little, um, the cockerels are just like this right here. I can usually pick them up and just pet on them like this. They're a sweet, sweet, sweet little bird. Lastly in my list of one week olds are the Bantam Cochins. Now, I actually do breed these, however, mine are being uncooperative this year so far. So I decided I'd pick up a few. Uh, mainly what I was out for were these right here. These are Partridge Bantam Cochins. That's my favorite color. I already have two hens that are Partridge, and these should be two pullets. This one here should be a little cockerel. So um, if you can see, he's different from the other two. Uh, first of all, here's a little black. I just knew this was a little, um, I knew this was a pullet, so that's why I had to get her. The one I have, uh, the cock bird that I have right now is a uh, recessive white that carries blue. So he's, he's actually blue underneath his white. So I figured that blue crossed with the black would make some really nice babies. If, I don't know if he's the problem or if it's my hens don't like him, but I know he's produced babies in the past. So again, I don't know if everybody's just on strike or why I'm not getting fertilized eggs from that pen right now. Um, but I've got him a new girlfriend for 
next year or the year after. So, but based on these guys, you can see they look alike or did when they were first hatched. And you can see how she has wing feathers, the length of her body. So that tells me this is a pullet and this one does not. You can see how she has those, a little bit of striping. That's a partridge pattern. And this one here, it's just, it's there. There's one wing there, right? He'll hold his wing out right there. You can see that one little stripy wing right there, or the feather. So this is another partridge, but this is definitely a little cockerel here. So he will have big plans. He's gonna have four, four new girlfriends for next year. So he'll be my definite keeper and the start of a whole new reign of partridge bantam coachings. So I'll be I'm really excited about that. So that, I'm not a fan of a red bird, but I do like a partridge colored bird. That's as close as I get to my reds. So but I'm excited for him. So hopefully his body is a, is a nice confirmation. So um, we'll have to, we'll have to see. So, but that's, that's a little, that's how you can tell. So, and again, guys, these sexing by wings like this does not work for every single bird. Just putting that disclaimer out there for you. It's not for every single breed. So, but it is one way that can kind of help if you're struggling trying to figure out um, what the sex of your birds are or uh, what the, um, you know, you're at the store and these birds have been there for about a week and you're going, hmm, do I want this bird or not? But I can't, you know, I can't have cockerels. I live in the city. This, that's, you know, don't go for the short winged ones. Go for the longer winged ones. It's more of a guarantee for you. Um, just, it's, it's an easier, more definite way to, to guarantee that you're getting probably a pullet. So, uh, next up is um, when they're a month old, a way to tell. So some of those that were pullets, that we thought maybe were pullets, didn't know, maybe they were cockerels, maybe they were pullets, we were kind of on the fence about. We'll look at them when they're a month old. This group, however, uh, most of these pullets have already been spoken for. So I'm gonna show you some of my birds from the last batch that I had that are already a month old now. These here are Barnevelders. I bought these when they were about a week old. In here we have seven pullets and two cockerels. Now, the cockerels are a little bit easier to pick out right now. You can see one of them is what I would call maybe a failure to thrive or just a slow to develop. He's right here. He actually he's suffered from pasty butt a lot. You can see he's a lot smaller than everybody else. But if you notice, he really doesn't have much of his wing feathers yet. The other one, if you, we find him, notice um, he has a larger comb. This is the age at which they start to develop a larger comb. They are, um, these right here are about three weeks old. And this guy, I believe is, who is this one? Nope, not that one. Ah, oh, right here. It would be this one. I have him marked with a band. Now, if you notice, like, like the pullet here, see how she has a full set of wing feathers. And our cockerel, he's gonna, they're usually noisy. He does not, he still doesn't have his wing feathers yet. And he also doesn't have feathers down his back yet. So the cockerels feather out a lot slower than the pullets. So that's one way to tell when they're this age, around a month old, which ones are cockerels or which ones are pullets. Like I said, cockerels are gonna start to develop. He's starting to get this comb, but some of our pullets are starting to get a comb too. But if you look at the rest of them, it's kinda hard to see, they're a bunch of, they're just a group of feathers. Um, if you were to, to pick them up individually or look at them individually, you would see the pullets all have full wing feathers. They're from their shoulders back. 
our fully feathered wings. This here is a batch of one month old wine dots. These here, this is a mix of colors. I have some gold laced, some silver laced, there's some blue, some black. Um, there's one in here that looks kind of partridgey, a uh, little bit of blue in here. Uh, anyway, this is the stage that we call this the ugly duckling stage. They're halfway in between that fuzz and, and they've got feathers coming in. So uh, they're, they're just, like I said, they're, they're kind of at that ugly stage. Anyway, this is when the males will start to get those red combs. Wine dots are a little bit harder though to sex based on combs. Single comb breeds, the ones that have the spiky pointy uh, combs, are definitely a lot easier, I think, to sex based on the comb. Uh, wine dots have a rose comb, which means it's a you know flat comb. It looks like a piece of bubble gum stuck on their head. Some of these y'all can see are absolutely obvious. This silver right here is obviously a cockerel. It's getting bright red, uh, so that one we know is a cockerel. Uh, this one over here in this corner is also a definite cockerel. Some of the others that we can look at, again, we can base it off of wing patterns or wing growth, feather growth. Um, there's a lot of them in here, so uh, let's see if we can see. Some of these, this one here is a pullet, and you can see how, see she's got all this feather. Her whole body is already right here. She's already got full feather growth all down her body. All she's missing right now is her head. That's all that's missing is her head's, uh, is feathers on her head. She has her down, but those feathers on her head are starting to come in. Everybody else, let's see this one. What have we got here? This one I have marked as a pullet as well. Um, again, we have most of the body. We're just missing the head and neck. Um, here's one. This is this would be a little cockerel here. Um, if you notice the the body. Again, they get they're noisy. They're obnoxious. If he'll stop. He's just now getting these wing feathers growing in and his body feathers are just starting to come in. So again, slower growth. That's a cockerel. Now his, he doesn't have, he doesn't have though the comb yet. It's starting to get pink, but it's not there yet. Here's this one that I said was a cockerel based on this red comb. Again, just barely, just starting to get those feathers on the body. And you can see that these feathers here on the top of that shoulder are just coming in. Something to also note on birds like um, wine dots, uh, most of your cockerels, it's hard to tell right now when their wings or, or when their feathers are just coming in right now. But cockerels have, um, a lot of times they have color on their shoulder. Uh, birds like... Uh, the um, wine dots that are laced are what I call color blocked. They're, they have uh, blocks of color on them. Cockerels are going to have white here on their shoulder. And if you can see, it's not coming in laced or really pretty. They're getting a lot of white right here on this shoulder section right here. So that tells me they're kind of, they're getting blocky as far as their, his colors coming in. He's getting a lacy pattern here, but here it's coming in blocky. That tells me that that's cockerel. Unfortunately, my pullets here are blue. This is a blue pullet, so she's solid color. This one here is, this one here's a cockerel, but the color, it's not getting that solid color like I would expect. But this one, you know, this one's not kind of following. The, we've got new body feathers coming in. We've got a bright red comb. Looks like shoulder feathers have just come in. So, hmm, this one isn't following that rule. Sometimes they don't, and I'm just gonna, I mean, they don't always follow these rules. So this is just ideas to help to determine what 
the sex of a bird is. Here's a really good example. This is a really late blooming um, cockerel. So you can see he's really just, like I said, two months old and he's still working on feathers. So, and I've got some that have done this where they, they just really slow to feather. So that's those guys. This one will be an interesting, he's a blue laced. You can see the blue on him. I don't know why his feathers are picking up. Sometimes they do that. They come in all wonky, and then they'll they'll go. When they fall out, they go away. The birds will molt when they're about four months old, and all of these feathers that they are growing right here, they're going to molt all of this stuff right here. They're going. It's called a juvenile molt. So all of this is going to go away with that molt. He's my buddy now. All right. Here we have the one month old Easter Eggers. Most of the pullets have already sold that were in this group. The ones that I had already sexed based on wing length, they sold pretty early on. So what we're left with are what are supposed to be the cockerels. Now, again, we're looking at uh, slow feather growth here. Uh, now, this one to me is obvious. This is one that had a really large dot on its head when it was a chick. It's barred, which for this group is really a heavy indicator of, of a cockerel. Just it's because of, of the male uh, barring gene and how it works. Now, this one here, I am pretty sure is also a cockerel. Again, I'm basing this off of slow feather growth here. We don't have a lot of feather growth up in the shoulder. Um, this one also has, uh, its comb is getting to be a little uh, larger. Uh, frizzles are extremely difficult to sex, especially when they get uh, older because the um, saddle feathers and hackle feathers can be really hard to identify because all of these these feathers go backwards and they flip and everything's pointing on these guys just I mean it's they're just hard to identify so you almost have to always go based on comb size or you have to do it when they're really really young like this so for this one I'm sticking I think with cockerel on this one I had another one that was a splash that um, I sold, I went ahead and, and sold as pullet. I think I changed my mind on that one, sold it as a pullet. I told the lady if it didn't work out that she could bring that one back. But though this one with those feathers coming in on the head, who knows, could be could be a pullet. Um, gosh, it's, these are, like I said, the, the frizzles are really hard to tell. Um, this one here, um, it's, starting to feather in. Now, with a leg bar, leg bars are a particular color. The males are barred. Female leg bars are a gray with a rosy chest, a lot like this. Now, this one I had marked as a cockerel in the beginning based on feather growth, but looking at it now based on feather coloring, the way it looks, I have changed this one to a pullet. You can see its body is fully feathered in. All we're missing are feathers on its head. So, and the fact that it's gray body and rosy chest, just like a, a leg bar looks, this tells me that this is probably a pullet. This one probably just feathered in a little bit slower when it was younger. So, again, now we have this one. This would be out of one of my frizzled hens, and this one just didn't, actually they're all out of frizzled hens, uh, these just didn't get the frizzled gene. This one would be a cockerel, again, based on we have no feathers growing in. Now this one is quite the conundrum. We've got the gray body, and we've got this rosy chest like a leg bar, however, if and then We've got a long tail, but we don't have 
a feathered body yet. We don't have the feathered shoulder yet. So that tells me cockerel. The coloring says pull it, but this right here, this is barring in here. This is telling me cockerel as well. So I am keeping this one as cockerel. Uh, it could change um, later on again. Could just be an interesting colored uh, pullet that's slow to grow. But for now, that one's staying a cockerel. And this one here, also I'm keeping as a cockerel. Again, based on the fact that we have no, well, do we have growth? We have wing feathers just starting to grow in. We have no body feathers yet, though frizzles are a little different with their feathering. Um, that comb is looking awfully large for a one month old. So I would say this one's a cockerel. This one, you can see how big, <laughs> that's a very large comb. It's not red yet, but it's very large. That just screams cockerel. This bird's screaming cockerel to me. So um, it's usually easier when you have a whole group of birds to look at, to compare them. When you look at just one, it's a little bit harder. But when you have a group of birds that you know are the same age or that you know are all related, it's so much easier to identify or help to identify the sexes on them. So in this group of Easter Eggers, who are all related, they all have the same daddy. Um, they could all, could all have the same mom, or at least they're all related distantly that way. I would say this is a pullet. That's a possible pullet, but we're gonna stick with cockerel at this point and say that, so, and that's a possible pull it, but we're still going to stick with cockerel. So out of this group, the only one changing from cockerel to pull it at this time is going to be that one. The rest of these are going to keep their cockerel status. Uh, next month, when they're two months old, they will again get reassessed. I reassess them and check them out every month at two months. All right. Yes. At two months, these are one month old. At two months, the combs are even bigger still. They get brighter red. The males usually really start to bulk out. And so um, they're a lot easier to tell at that, even more at that, so at that point. So hopefully this has helped with being able to identify um, the sexes on the birds that you have or helping you to identify ones when you go to a store or to a hat you know, to a, someone's, to a hatchery or whatever, wherever you're getting your birds, breeding your own, going and getting them, you know, trying to figure out what you've got in your backyard. Hopefully this will help you to be able to figure out what you've got before getting online or asking people, what have I got? Or maybe you can figure it, you know, ask them then and think if your theory is correct. So have a good day, guys. People always ask, how do you sex a turkey? Turkeys are a little bit different than sexing a chicken. Uh, one easy way, uh, I've got two here. These are bourbon red turkeys. These are three weeks old. And you can see this one here has this wing that sticks out a little bit. This is not angel wing or anything like that. That is a tom. Usually about a week old, they'll start with these feathers and you'll you'll notice um, as they feather in the males will have usually like one wing that kind of sticks down um, it can be both sides or one side uh, but as they get bigger that's they really uh, start to be prominent with that one with the wings that just kind of the, the feathers and the wings that stick out this one here is a little uh, what are they pullets are they still pullets I think they're still pullets a pullet and a hen so this one here is a little pullet and I've actually seen that one over there uh, start to strut and puff up and you know they, they'll do that at a young age too. The females can do it as well they're just not as um, uh, 
inclined to do it. And you can see how big they are. All of these birds are the same age, well, except for the big silver-laced Wyandotte. But these are some speckled Sussex. Same age, they were all in here. She was broody and we threw her some chicks and happened to be some turkeys in here. So they're gonna get big. It won't be too much longer that, uh, probably a couple more weeks and I'll move them into a pen where they can have an outdoor run because they're getting, starting to get a little bit crowded in here. But there's also, uh, that there's a game bantam. So we've got some speckled Sussex, some old English game bantams, a couple turkeys, and then the one wind up.